the issue that contributed to the new river situation is what I said surface water and groundwater being linked. If we over abstract, we take water, we just waste it, um, it has an impact on our groundwater and the groundwater provides base flow which keeps our rivers and streams alive. If we waste the water and we remove that inflow in or that outflow into that river system, then you will get all kinds of things happening. Um, it's a delicate balance. Um, flow provides mixing, um, you know, oxygen, different um, pollutants, not pollutants, sorry, different chemicals, natural processes within the river require that inflow, it requires that movement. Um, the new river is basically flat, which means that it doesn't have slopes and slopes help us with mixing. When we are flat, we kind of stay a little bit stagnant. It takes a little bit longer time for things to travel. So there are multiple reasons why the new river was in that state. Um, we are committed along with the Department of the Environment to doing a watershed management plan for the new river. So we're looking forward to bringing to the table um, implementation plans such as these for funding um, in this uh, conference. Based on the analysis of our hydrological data that the new river still has not returned to what, it's, what we considered normal. It's functioning, but it's still not normal um, as to what we have in, in our data. Um, we just have to do the right corrective actions, be proactive and try to get those actions funded so we can make a head start on implementation that watershed management plan, which looks at the availability, all the uses that we want to use that water for, and you know how can we balance um, conservation along with sustainable development.